sales receipt activity deposited and products and services and so on so that looks good we can then over here on the details duplicate it send it print uh, uh void or delete uh and then we can edit if we edit it, it looks like a normal sales receipt here so we've got j customer so on and so forth it's a sales receipt that means of course that it's increasing the the account that we put it into bank account and then the other side is going to be going to revenue driven by the sales item let's close that out so that looks good so now let's jump over to the invoices tab to the right and you can see here we've got this invoice with this circle up top which is showing that it's the auto you know recurrent recurring reoccurring <laughs> uh invoice that we have there so if I click on it, it gives us our detail on the right viewed uh, three times. So it tracks the viewing of it uh, and so on. So there is that information. Okay, let's go to a quick look on the sales receipts again with this one that we got with the auto generated uh, sales receipt. Remember the normal process we would have uh, is if we process the sales receipt manually, jumping over to a uh, QuickBooks desktop flowchart just to look at the flowchart. Normally we would make the sales receipt and we could deposit it directly into the checking account there, but sometimes it goes into the clearing account uh, and then we batch it together in order to deposit into the checking account. So those payment processors can be an issue for us sometimes because uh, the, the credit card companies and the PayPal's and the stripes and whatnot might group multiple sales receipts together and deposit into our bank account as one lump sum. But because once again, we have the payment processes on, it should do that basically automatically for us so that it will deposit it into our uh, checking account in the format in the grouping that we need. So, it, so once this is set up, it should basically be automatic uh, from that point in time and take care of the deposit and do it in such a fashion that we can line it up to the bank feeds. So if I go into the deposit side of things on uh, the right hand,